Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio tutorial. In this set of tutorials we look on some video effects creation and let's begin by um, looking on this segment. So what is done we recorded the video. Okay, let me move it a little ahead. And when we start playing you can kind of preview. So we have scenery and grass and here's a Jason we're moving out going over and here we overview our valley so we look over what I want to do instead this um, picture of the city I want to replace maybe with some trees forest and castle or maybe in some other ones we'll do some explosions and water going on so it just make a set extensions with your videos so what are we going to do uh, it's use it to for that application to create the first what I wanted it's move it to our segment when we have a steel image so we have a position one thing you notice like in this segment it's not horizontal so our we have a little bit skew on this side and skew right here we kind of need match terrain and plane in this so it's not total horizontal we need to play with that little bit and also we need to play kind of with haze we don't need to take all animation we could and import inside the view but for that project we just need to take a steel and match and build our city based on here so when we're creating one you go to file when you select it we go to export and we'll just export the frame so all what we need to do is just save one image so I'm right here and let's We call it single frame or whatever you want it and I'll just export as TFF you can export as uh, JPEG or any other ones so let's after this let's go to our view application and here what we're going it's in main camera we'll just right click go to edit object and we'll start using backdrops so let's go to backdrops enable use it backdrops and let's loading our image from directory where we saved so we'll go right here and we have it single frame click open click ok again and here we can see the image displaying so right here we have it background our image we can already take our camera modify but problem what we have it it is sometimes matching how high this camera located and what the scenery so I found that with the new tools on internet you can actually match very well one thing when you make a video of your uh, original you can take it out to what camera location everything and if you don't have a GPS with you you can go to Google Earth example okay and where we were shooting it is okay, let me go zoom in closer and find we were shooting at this point right here so we can zoom even closer right here this is where shot was done so if we go back we'll see the camera location was overview this is baseball feed right here everything and you can see here is a baseball field it's well over with the camera and camera was locating just right here so this is kind of nice because we can go move our hand over and in this point right here you can see what elevation is so if we're going right around it was one five three nine so let's write down that one okay it's one five three nine okay next what I want to do it's take um, look at how high it was compared to our city so example we go right over here and we can see it's a one two nine eight so let's minus one two nine eight or six no, let's put eight okay so it's a 241 meter okay let's go close this one okay 241 meter now we have a camera selected we can go to the Z and one thing um, it's set right now I have a Z is my up if you want it you can go ahead to your options okay and we can go to um, right here positions 
the normal I say Y X up so I was resetting before because I like the Z it's represent depth and I like Y is going up by default in the view Z will be up so we have it this way um, on that case it will be Y will be our up so we'll go right here and we'll type our value of 241 what it does it's a actually take our camera and position on the same place with about elevation of course we can if you can add you can add um, maybe a couple more meters just because it was a little bit higher or a little bit below okay after when we're done this we'll take our camera and we don't touch the ground we just modify our camera and we try to match with uh, our terrain you can see how I can adjust also on a camera uncheck this always keep up to level and we can go right here and just slightly rotate so we can kind of matching there you go so here's our position where we kind of match elevation from the ground our camera and now we can see how the sky going right here so we have it next what we're going to do is build our city or build our mountains over this terrain just right here okay and we'll do this in a second part